What's up guys this is Anand from Great Tech and welcome to Tech News. First we have news from Apple. Now Apple is planning to adopt RCS from 2024 that is next year. RCS is basically rich communication services and it is a messaging protocol that will enable people to message high res photos, have read receipts and maybe even send videos, you know, multimedia, all of that through SMS. So Apple adopting that would mean that everybody gets the benefits of messaging across platforms like you do with chat applications but through SMS. That is through iMessage and, you know, other SMS apps. Apple still says that iMessage is the best and the most secure app for Apple users. OnePlus teased its upcoming speaker, its first speaker through a launch video. We can see the internal hardware of that video but we don't have the final look yet. Are you interested in this? Let us know. Apple did say that it will adopt RCS but it also confirmed that the green bubbles, the green text won't go away. If this is not a problem, if you don't know what this is, great, you don't need to know further. But if this is a problem to you then the RCS adoption by Apple is not a happy news for you. But I have a question for you. Do you have cross-platform interaction via SMS with people? If yes, let us know why you're not using WhatsApp or Telegram instead. Meta recently announced Emu Video. It is an AI image generation tool. If you select the prompts or the description along with the image, it will create that image into a four second animation clip. You also get editing tool like Emu Edit to edit that clip further. The examples they gave look pretty cool. Now we can create videos based on the images that they are offering. I'm not sure if we can upload photos and make them animated, but I mean, it's just a waiting game. In couple of months or so, we will get that feature. Toku is a health tech company co-founded by Ehsan Wagefi. He is also the CEO. They can predict heart conditions by scanning your eye. That's pretty cool. They say there's a strong link between glaucoma and heart related conditions. So scanning a patient's eye will give the doctors an idea of how the patient's cardiovascular system is working. This is pretty cool where health and tech meets and creates something that people from the past might only call magic. Google brought a new AI feature where you can try clothes on virtually. So you can just pick a t-shirt and try it on your body virtually to see how it looks before you buy it. This is an AI shopping tool that will be widely used in the coming years. It has already been adopted by some companies like Walmart and Amazon, but not in the exact way that we see now with Google, but it's something similar. You have to enroll in the search generative experience to access this feature from Google. That's pretty much it for this video. Like, share, subscribe, you know what to do. This is Anon from Great Tech. Meet you in the next one.